Who are you? How hold on, hold on. Dave Menzies rebel news. Hold on a second. Yeah. Did you? No. Did you David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. Well, folks, I'm here at a fundraiser for the Liberal Member of Parliament, Peter Fonseca. He's actually the Member of Parliament for Mississauga East, Cooksville. Kind of funny that he's not having a fundraiser in his own writing, but he's out here in uh, West End Toronto. The reason why we're here is we're hoping to scrum Christian Freeland. Christian Freeland has been very much in the news for a variety of things. We'll get to that later. Now we're actually standing off the property of the International Union of Painters and Allied Trades. That is who is hosting uh, this fundraiser apparently. The reason why we're standing off the property, well you guessed it, for asking impolite questions. My cameraman Lincoln J and I were threatened with trespass. Here's what happened just four minutes to go. Oh, Miss Freeland, how you doing there? You? How have you designated uh, David Menzies Rebel News? Hold on a second. I, uh, Did you, no. anybody invite you? Uh, who are you? I'm who I am. Okay. I am who I am. Please. Miss Freeland, Please. when are you going to Davos? You know what, if you're not what? invited here, sir, you're trespassing. Uh, who are you? I'm with the RCMP. Oh, it's really? Go, oh, yes. are you going to beat me up then? Uh, no, we're asking you to leave. I'm charge you with trespassing if you don't leave right now. Okay, thank you. So you don't believe in a free press then? I believe in everything, but please leave. Why was Christian Freeland against the WEF when she was not in politics and now she's a member of the Board of Trustees? Please leave. Why is that, sir? Please leave. Will Christian Freeland be eating bugs in Davos? Please leave. Will she? Please leave. I think I think they've made it quite clear. If we're in a climate, if we're in a climate crisis, no, I'm I'm leaving. Hey, hey, excuse me. No, okay then. Why does she come here in a SUV, burning fossil fuels? All right, sir. We got a job to do. Thank you very much. Oh, what is your job? He's asked you to leave the property. I'll leave the property. Yeah. Please, thank you. So you guys don't believe in a free press, then, right? No comment. No comment. Just leave. (laughs) That seems. Okay then. I would do the same if some somebody somebody that was uninvited came to your house. I would do the same. Well, actually, last December, uh, you and your Royal Canadian Mounted henchmen beat me up and gave me COVID. Are you kidding? Sorry, you know sir. you're just not sorry, your foot, sir. Huh? Okay, can you watch, watch your foot? Your foot? Uh, oh, this is private is, property. Is you're not welcome Thank here. You. Yeah. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. Are you supporters of uh, Christian Freeland? Yes, sir, uh, just, just uh, we're here to have. You. You're here to have what? Have a cigarette and a coffee. Okay then. Yeah, so once again, Justin Trudeau's Royal Canadian Mounted Henchmen, they protect uh, Freeland like they protect uh, Mr. Blackface McGroper. But in any event, it's too bad. I mean, I guess Christia Freeland has forgotten what it's like to be a journalist. That is where she came before she went into politics. And you know, uh, I had some very pointed questions for Ms. Freeland, including you have designated two billion dollars to be spent on buying shares in a corporation that does not currently exist can you explain that i don't know sounds a little fishy to me folks why do you continue to sit on the board of trustees of the world economic forum i'd love to hear her answer about that especially because folks did you know that before christian freeland went into politics, she denounced the World Economic Forum. What I talk about is how we've had really around the world this growing income inequality and in particular a lot of action at the top. And so a growing gap between not just as you said the 1% but the 0.1% and everybody else. And what is characteristic about those people is Actually, you know, they are the people who are the beneficiaries of, who have figured out how to make money off of the huge economic change which is sort of sweeping through the world today. Globalization, the technology revolution, they sort of surf those waves. Uh, Christian Freeland was not a cheerleader for the WEF. 
And now she apparently is all in when it comes to the Great Reset. I also want to ask her if she is going to Davos later this week, is she going to forego her T-bone steaks and chicken breasts and instead dine out on mealworms and crickets? We know Klaus Schwab wants us to do that. Klaus Schwab wants us to give up the automobile too. And you know, if you look over there, uh, one of those enormous Chevy Suburban SUVs burning fossil fuels. Yeah, that's what brought Chrystia Freeland uh, to this fundraiser. So yet again, one law for thee, one law for me. Do as I say, not as I do. Yep, your Canadian Liberal Member of Parliament in action yet again. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, folks, our commander in chief, that would be Ezra Levant and the wonder down under that would be Avi Amini and a whole host of Rebel News talent. They're over right now in Davos, Switzerland. They are covering the World Economic Forum. And by covering, I mean bringing you the real news, not rewriting WEF press releases like the mainstream media does. But we need your help. As you know, we receive no government funding nor would we take it if offered. So please go to wefreports.com. That's wefreports.com. And if you're able to, kindly make a donation. Our thanks in advance.